Healthcare is transitioning from an industry dominated by pharmaceuticals to an industry run on data. Over the coming years, we will see the integration of tiny sensors in equipment and throughout our bodies. This will give us the ability to add far more precision to every medical diagnosis. Rather than having doctors prescribe either 200 or 400 milligrams of a drug because those are the only doses currently being offered by pharmaceutical companies, we will be moving quickly towards diagnostic equipment that can tell us we need precisely 327 milligrams or 162 milligrams and have a dispensing system capable of producing that exact dosage. As these sensors become tinier and more precise, we will witness an explosion of digital twin technologies. The digital twin is a virtual representation of a real life physical product building or person. Currently, digital twin technology is being used to monitor large pieces of equipment like tractors, cruise ships, and turbines in a power plant. It allows operators to remotely monitor equipment and processes in real time, even from a remote location. With improvements in digital twin technology, we will soon enter an era of remote robotics, where we can see what the machine is seeing and feel what the machine is feeling as we operate equipment remotely. This is already happening with surgical robots, but will become far more pervasive over time. This brings up a number of important questions. At what point do we no longer need to have an operator in the vehicle? How long before planes, as an example, can be operated remotely with pilots that are on the ground? How long before digital twin technology is common in humans? And this naturally raises the question of how long will it be before doctors can diagnose a person's condition and remotely monitor their health through their digital twin. 